Hey guys, Omni here. We finally have our first official trailer for Black Adam. The Rock has been continuously hyping this thing up. We've had a teaser trailer before, and from what we have seen in some of these little glimpses, it definitely looks very promising. And I'm out of the projects they've got lined up right now, this is one of the ones that definitely has my attention, especially considering we're going to be getting a big screen Dr. Fate in here, played by Pierce Brosnan, which is honestly probably <laughs> one of the things about this movie and this lineup that has me the most excited, um, let alone just Black Adam himself being a force to be reckoned with. But guys, we've waited long enough. Let's go ahead and check out the official trailer. Here we go. Was ever given to you. Nothing but heartache. <laughs> I was a slave until I died. Then I was reborn a god. My son sacrificed his life to save me. Before no one. Going on outside when they say from in this world. They're heroes. Yo. Yes. And they're villains. Heroes don't kill people. Well, I do. <laughs> Watch that dude. The future. You have two choices. You can be the destroyer of this world. Or you can be its savior. Dude. That's up to you. Whoa. Did he just catch a rocket? He got a rocket. Holy shit. October 21st. Dude. I like it. I like the look, man. I want. I do want more Doctor Fate in there, but I mean, we still don't really have like a big old like setup as far as like who's fighting who. Is he fighting the JSA? I mean, it kind of seems like they are putting them at odds, but it also seems like they're also trying to recruit him. I don't know. I'd be curious to see which route this takes. But Pierce Brosnan taking the forefront in this trailer, being the one kind of laying out laying out the law, as it were. You know, I've seen the future, and you have two options. You can either help save this world, or you can be its destroyer. Um, and see how things go, man. I, lo I just love that one shot of that dude trying to hit him with that club, and just, like, it just bends around his bald head, man. <laughs> this is like, what? <laughs> and then this is like, it cuts that ragdoll flying through the sky. Um, it definitely has a sense of humor that I didn't quite expect from it. Considering the character, I expected a little bit more of a serious tone, but it seems like we got a little bit of a mix um, throughout, so that's fun. Um, we got a little bit more of the backstory being revealed within the trailers themselves, his background as a slave, his son, um, his kind of what gets him chosen to be um, one of the wielders of this power. I'm curious to see how this ends up getting wrapped in. We also see him be getting revived or healed, resurrected with this uh, pod. Lots of questions. I'm curious to see how they adapt his story um, and mold it into the DCEU. And who knows, man? With this change of direction, we may get the showdown 
that The Rock is so desperately wanted moving forward, assuming they can get a deal in place and a close um, the situation around. We'll see. We'll see. Zaslav might be able to at least, uh, that seems to be one priority out there, at least we can kind of agree upon, but everything else is kind of a big old question mark still. Um, is this, no, we still got Aquaman coming out this year. I don't think the date for Aquaman has moved yet. As far as I know, only the Flash has moved its date and got pushed back to next year. Okay. We'll keep an eye on it, man. We'll keep an eye out on it. So, guys, was this trailer worth the wait? Yeah. Mildly so. I feel like uh, we didn't see too much new in this for me. We got some glimpses that were cool and fun, but uh, I'd like to see some of the stakes. I, I think that's what we'll be. I'll be waiting for uh, in possibly the next trailer. But I like this. This was a step up from the teaser trailer. I like what we've seen. I like the effects of his abilities. I like just the confidence behind the character as well. And he's like, heroes don't kill people. And I was like, well, I do. I don't know. I like I like what they're presenting at this point. And that, like, the flicker of his super speed there when he catched that rocket. I really, I like that. I like always, I'm always a sucker for stuff like that. Like the flash step kind of thing, man. But yeah, man. Let me know what you thought. Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Feel free to join us in our Discord. We could talk about it there as well. Links to that and all my socials down below. Before you go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Share, Ryan Care, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yori Koriska, Margaret Grace, Mary Bradley, Melita, Robert Anguiano, and Cal Kestis Nation. Thank you guys so much, as always, for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.